This video is sponsored by BuyCheapMuckCoins.com. Make sure you head on over there for all your Muck coin purchases. Use code GS5 for a discount at checkout. What up, what up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 15 online gameplay. Let's get right into it, man. We were asked to use the Bucks with Vince Lombardi offense while also having 3-4 as the defense. So, uh, yeah, I really don't know exactly how good it is I'm going to do, considering I think Vince Lombardi is possibly the worst offensive playbook in the game. Also, defensively, I've never ran 3-4. Nothing against people who use it. Um... Because if you know how to use it, it is a very deadly, deadly playbook. But I just, I've never used it. So I am i don't know what's going to happen on defense. I'm not going to be able to send any pressure. I, I just don't know what to do. I'm just hoping for the best right here. Uh, believe me, it may look like we're sending pressure, but we're really not. Trust me. Right there, don't test that user. He is so disrespectful. As we pick up an interception right there, gives us an opportunity to take the lead. Right here, second and eight, we roll out really quick, dump off to Vincent Jackson. We get a manageable third and two situation where we roll out. We're looking. Nobody's really open. Playing a little bit of coverage duty right there. Only sending two. But we do reroute the running back, and we do pick up the first down. First and ten, we try a fullback dive, get a couple yards. Second and eight, he was off sides, but we do end up picking up the first down regardless. So right here, first and ten, try the quick inside run. That gets shut down. Second and ten, and we get hit as soon as we're about to throw the pass. Third and ten, really quick comeback route, and we pick up the touchdown. Putting us up 7-0. Like, okay, we we just may be able to do this. We just may be able to sneak away with these playbooks I definitely don't prefer and like. So he picks up a first down right there with Eddie Lacy. Goes for Listen, that may look like dual edge. I don't know what I'm doing. That's the last time you're going to see pressure this game. Aaron Rodgers had way too much time in, the, in this game because I don't know how to send pressure as we drop an interception right there. I don't know how to send pressure out of this playbook. I was I just seen a blitz. Okay, uh, baseline show blitz and hope something came in, uh, and it rarely did. So uh, we actually have a chance to go up two possessions right here, which I would love to be able to do right here. We try to run with Doug and we don't get much of anything. Uh, second and ten, really quick uh, pass to Vincent Jackson. Third and six right here. We pick up the first down right there with Evans on a curl. We try a toss play right there, and yeah, we shouldn't have tried that. That right there was horrible. <laughs> right here, it hits the back of my lineman's head. Third and 21 right here. We're looking around. We're looking. We reroute, and we throw a very horrible pass. Just a very dumb play by me, not being able to make a good play, and he catches an interception, and he starts his drive on like the seven-yard line or so. And uh, that right there was definitely just not a good play. So uh, right here, we drop an interception. It's like right there. He threw it right to his third and go. He decides to go with a run play. Good call by him. Wasn't expecting it. Fourth and go, play action, and just runs right into the end zone. So it's 7-7, seven to seven and uh, not frustrated yet because I made a very dumb play. That was my fault. I shouldn't have done it. Very stupid on my end. Uh, I should have known better. So uh, I'll take full responsibility on that. Right here, trying to run. He runs, commits. Uh, good call by him. Second and 11 right here. Look at his drag. Look at that. Look at that. Wide open, overthrown. Wide open, overthrown. Third and 11, wide open, and he drops it. Vincent Jackson just completely dropped the It hit him right in his hands. He didn't drop it due to being hit. He just flat out dropped the pass. And at this point, because this was live stream, everybody in live stream thinks this is hilarious. And I'm getting so, fr I'm beyond frustrated at this point. I truly am upset right now at the fact that we dropped the pass. He overthrew a wide open drag route. I feel like I'm using Carr in my Steelers franchise all over again. I'm highly upset. First and 10, he's running the ball right here with Eddie Lacy. And he's such a tough runner to stop. Second and go, he's destroying me with these little quick curls. So it's like, okay, we'll, we'll make adjustments. You know, he caught me with it a few times. We'll remember that's what he likes to go to when he comes down that formation. We'll make an adjustment. Second and 10, he runs the ball again with Lacey. He picks up the first down again. I don't know how to do anything out of this playbook. Uh, right here, we make the adjustment, drop the interception. Second and 10, he goes really quickly uh, to the uh, tight end who was in a blue. And again, that's something we're going to have to adjust for. Rolls out with Aaron Rodgers, throws a dot across his body and picks up the first down. First and 10 right here, and we end up getting to him before he could get the pass off. Second and 10 right here, sent some more pressure, and uh, we force an incomplete pass. He decides to run it on third and 10. We stop him, and he kicks the field goal, and he goes up 10 to uh, 7. So, uh, yeah, frustration is not even like it's not even a question at this point, considering last drive, the uh, second and third down, it was, I mean, come on. Right here, we just chuck it up to Vincent Jackson, hoping for the best, and unfortunately, we don't get anything, but it goes into halftime. Now, we do receive the ball, so hopefully, we can go on ahead and get ourselves 
a uh, a good drive here and take the lead. So first and ten, we tried a screen play. There was literally one screen in the entire playbook. It was a fullback screen. It was horrible. I had to try it. Right here, we reroute wide open. Right here, we look, and I stopped, and he just missed the throw. He just flat out missed the throw. He makes that throw, but that second down throw, I wasn't on the run. I made sure I stopped. I made sure I threw the ball right to him. No precision. He just threw it to him, and he missed the throw. That won't be the first time that he completely misses wide open throws. First and 10 right here. We're looking. We're looking. We reroute again. We throw a fadeaway, and finally, we get to throw a dynamic pass, right? Second and six right here. Wide open was Martin, but he didn't get anything. Third and five right here. They, they only have one shotgun formation with only like four plays. He calls all out coverage D. Nobody blitzing. And the computer, like he comes in, I'm thinking, okay, it's only one because he put up two spies. Then he clicked on. Now he's got two guys rushing, and then they come right through immediately. And at this point, I'm pissed off at the point that I'm missing throws. This playbook is horrible. He's calling all out coverage D. I can't get a first down. I'm having trouble stopping him. Second and five right here. Calls the play action. Goes over the middle. I thought I had somebody in position. Just doesn't make a play. First and ten, he decides to run the ball again. This time, we finally stopped him. So, on second and nine, he calls a play action. Rolls out right here and gets another first down. And, again, he's taking advantage of when you roll out the zone. So again, make another adjustment for that play that I know he likes to go to. Another drop interception right there. Third and ten right here. Again, he rolls out. And that's just what happens. That light blue is there. Instead of sticking with the wide receiver, he decides to come down for the quarterback. I mean, when you pass him, they shouldn't be able to do that. But nonetheless, uh, nothing I can control. You know, and he throws a touchdown. And I'm like, it's if I don't score here, game's over. I need to score here. If I don't, game is over. Ryder, we're looking. We roll out ourselves. And he completely stopped. I thought if he kept going towards the sideline, he would have made the, 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 touch, um, the first down. But he just stopped. Uh, third and six right here. We're looking. We're looking. We're looking. And wow. That was to the angle route on the left. Fourth and six right here. We're looking again. We're looking. We're looking to see if we can get somebody open. And he throws a dot. One of the few times he actually threw something beautiful. So first and ten, we step up in the pocket. Wow. Just a very bad throw. Second and ten, missed. Third and ten right here. We go back to the, um, oh, I thought I was going to go to the out route right here. We just get sacked. Fourth down, we just need a miracle at this point. Fourth and 21. Uh, we decide to just roll out. We chuck it up. Not much I could do. And at this point, game is over, right? I'm down two possessions. I can't do anything on both sides of the ball. I decide to send him a concede. Game's over. You win, buddy. Good game. Nothing I can do. And he declines it. And I'm thinking to myself, wow. Okay, you already won the game. What more do you want to prove? Like, how cool are you? Okay, whatever. All right, he rolls out, and we drop an interception. Second and 10. Again, he rolls out. I see the route. Don't test that user. And we catch an interception. So, we're right back in this ball game. If we can score, which is going to be tough. Right here, I run into my own lineman somehow, and it's second and 20. Play action right here, and I get sacked. Third and 25. We drop back. We go over the middle, and Evan makes the catch, leaving us one yard shy of the first down. Fourth and one, really quick hitch route to Martin. We pick up the first down. First and 10, again, we roll out. We're looking for somebody to be open. We reroute the running back. We throw it to him. We pick it up. Get that block right there. And we get stopped within the five-yard line. We have to save all of our timeouts. Bam, we throw a dot on the run. And now we have an opportunity to come back. I have all three timeouts. All I need is to stop, get the ball back, and I can potentially win this game or tie. But, of course, I want to be able to win, especially since he went out and declined to concede. How amazing would that be to come back on him? So he uh, picks up the first down right here. I can't waste any timeouts right here. I have to wait. Um, we get to him for an incomplete pass. Right here, second and 10. I knew he was going to go to the flat route. This time we were preparing for it. We stop him. Call a timeout. Third and six. Goes for the run. We stop him. And he punts us the ball. So on fourth and eight, we get a punt. We have 20 seconds, one timeout to get in field goal range. So here we go, first and ten, we're looking, we're looking, we're looking, we're looking. We're trying to go over the middle, and it gets swatted down. Eleven seconds remaining, standing in the pocket. We throw it to the tight end, back shoulder, we get the first down. Right here, we need to go on ahead and throw it out of bounds really quickly because they didn't suggest field goal, I pressed A too quickly. Here we go, game tying field goal, down by, what was it, ten. Any head ball of three minutes remaining. We kicked the field goal, and we're about to go to overtime. Wow. Wow. Wow.
smoke weed every day. Wow.